So today we are going to assemble Lil Viking the siphon. First time I'm doing it. Our first step consists out of three parts. So I should stick this one in here. Pretty sturdy. Okay. And then the next part. The click on mechanism. Should be something like this. In order to cut the tube, I have a wooden saw. So that's all I got. Normally, you should have a normal saw for like for metal or for plastic. It it should be easier, but uh, since I don't have one, I'm going to use this one. It be... Not the most convenient so. So I'm going to cut this. Um, uh, rest plastic so now we are going to apply those clutches onto the sink very smart uh, yeah it, it's very smartly made and very convenient to attach your sink to the countertop so as you can see when you turn it pushes the metal parts into the sink inwards so now I'm going to install <coughs> the sink to the countertop so you can see the clutches are on their places on their place I hope it will fit so as we can see it does not fit I have to cut off a bit of uh, countertop um, and those places <laughs> So now we are going to put the sink into its place. Everything fits perfectly. So here we have some parts that come along with the sink and not with the draining mechanism. So it goes something like this, and then like this. And now I'm going to install the draining tube.
So the next step is actually pretty awkward because uh, in the instructions it is written we have to take out that uh, metal, uh, that plastic barrier but actually it's a solid plastic piece and I'm surprised that it is not uh, prefabricated as a yeah as a whole so I'm going to do it just like it is shown in the instructions I'm going to carve it out so it is almost out actually with a screwdriver it was uh, pretty hard as it was shown in the instructions so I found out a better way so I just take some piece of plastic and I bite it like this and I pull it off so I got now more or less a clean hole and I'm going to call it a day So now the lower parts, or uh, let us say the most important part at this moment um, is installed and um, we have to now install the upper part and the upper part consists out of the screw yeah, and this, uh, I don't know how to say it, this metal piece, so let us say so. So the idea is to connect the up. There is a special key that comes uh, in the package. So it is now at its, at its place and if we do like this we have a, a beautiful sink. Of course the lower part is not finished yet, but let us finish at least the upper part. So actually I suppose this should be like this. And this is a small part for the upper piece. And yeah, we got our beautiful kills we can IKEA sink. So actually now the plastic piece has been cut off and we are going to install or try to install at least the, the last part of the training mechanism.
so now we can see that the lower part of the sink is installed um, I skipped maybe some steps but it was a lot of um, yeah, assembling and trying to find the right location of this on this part so I first turned it uh, this way but then I realized it was taking a lot of space so I tried to hide it and I have hidden it uh, here uh, in, in this uh, forest corner but so the problem now is that uh, IKEA states that these holes should be descending like from uh, yeah from upper parts to the bottom uh, but here it is actually uh, more or less on the same level and uh, that uh, that's not okay according to the instructions but I'm going to pretend that I have not seen it so I'm just going to cut the holes a bit and uh, it will be more or less something like this and it will take less space and so now I'm going to install the holes of um, the dishwasher Alright, so it's there Let's make sure that it's installed tightly okay so it's uh, it looks solid it feels solid so right I think I'm there so next step is to install the water top the double water top and now what I'm going to do first is to put some tape around this area for uh, for it to be water resistant so no leaks will occur 